The immune system contains a delicate balance of cells and signaling molecules that can fight infection, eradicate foreign agents, and promote repair. Over time, the immune system has evolved to provide an effective means of protecting the body against the development of disease and can be subdivided into innate and adaptive immunity. The innate immune system involves non-specific defense mechanisms that attack foreign antigens soon after their appearance, while adaptive immunity comprises recognition of foreign antigens before a response is instigated. Such signaling molecules of the innate immune system include interleukin-1, which is typically overexpressed following infection or injury. Through its receptor, it is thought to affect nearly every cell type within the body. Interleukin-1 actually refers to a family of cytokines comprising of 11 different isoforms, though most is known about interleukin-1, alpha, and beta, in part due to their strong pro-inflammatory role. Interleukin-1 beta is produced first as a precursor protein, which is then cleaved by caspase 1, a protein that forms part of a complex known as the inflammasome to form its active form. However, when the balance of the immune system is disrupted, it can stimulate the pathogenesis of various diseases, including those that promote inflammation. An increase in the production of interleukin-1-beta is associated with a variety of auto-inflammatory syndromes referred to as CAPS or cryopyrin-associated periodic syndrome. Such syndromes include familial cold auto-inflammatory syndrome or FCAS characterized by rash, fever, and conjunctivitis, and Muckle-Wells syndrome, or MWS, characterized by hearing loss and recurrent urticaria-like rash. Some syndromes are associated with mutations within NLRP3, a gene that encodes cryopyrin, a component of the inflammasome. These mutations are thought to increase the production of the active interleukin-1-beta, promoting abnormal activity of this signaling molecule, which can result in the development of CAPS. Interleukin-1-beta has been implicated in a variety of other auto-inflammatory diseases, including systemic juvenile idiopathic arthritis, SJIA, a rare form of arthritis in children. Along with the joint inflammation, other symptoms of SJIA include a characteristic high daily spiking fever, erythematous salmon-colored rash, and involvement of other organ systems, 